Hi everyone, what's up? Well, I'm sure you're going to like this video because I just bought some new additions. Quite a while since I last bought any new ones back at the expo. So I did a trade of uh, 23 of my uh, slings, 17 Santi Vincenti and 6 P. Regalis for what's inside these two bags. Ooh, we got something special here. Everyone's going to love that for sure. So, Tarantula Canada had their annual get-together. Not many people showed up. I know Lexi Lightning was there. I was um, meeting her and then I saw her buy a new uh, P. Hanamaveu Sumika. So that way if hers is a male, and I believe mine's female, we're going to try to make these. Hopefully we get Hanamaveu Sumika very popular in Canada. Because it's uh, not very popular, uh, this Pokey. One of the rarest ones. And I went to see their facility. It's such a shame that I forgot to bring my camera, but next time I go there, I'll be sure to film it. I'm pretty sure that they got themselves uh, some new egg sacs, and then Balfouri, as well as a tea blondie, the real one. So I asked, I inquired her about the tea blondie, and she might sell one to me, but we're going to see if uh, she's going to do it. So, today's video is What's Inside the Box? Alright, everyone is going to be loving this, for sure. Now, this is not pokies or anything, but I think it's something a little bit better. I did get a true spider and some mini teas. So, let's look at what I bought. So, the first one I got is a suspect female for Mictopus oratus. Now, I looked at the specimen and I thought to myself I just had to have it. My little second Isabella. I'll probably call her Maria. Very cute spe species. Okay. Number two. I got myself a 100% confirmed female. Brachypalma verdesi, the Mexican rose gray. Uh, the specimen that I have right now is a male. So this works out in favor for me because I can try to breed them. She's about an inch and a half. Very cool. And this, at least I have now I have a 100% female. And I have a 100% male. So that's pretty good. Alright, so two more. This guy right here is pretty much new to YouTube. This is a Sferabophria Hoffmani, the South American horned uh, bird eater, as they call it. Here's that little guy, it's around a half an inch. Yeah, this is the one that has a horn on its head. And it's only exclusively to South America. Sparabophria Hoffmani. I was going to get a Saratajaris, but uh, they didn't have any in stock. Now, for my fellow Filipino subscribers, they've been hounding me to get a Filipino species. And lucky for me, I bought myself one. And here it is. Salino Brachis Filipinus. Yeah, my very own Filipino tarantula. Very, very cool. And last but not least... I got a hush hush on this because this is a top secret tarantula. Oh, sorry, true spider. I'm just going to let you learn the scientific name of this one. All right, there we go. Lactrodectus geometricus. And this is known as the Madagascar brown widow the black widow this one gets around an inch and a half and it does have the orange arrow glass so let's have a look at the specimen I'm not going to take it out obviously because uh, Lactrodectus have really potent venom but the Geometricus is a little less potent than the Mactins and the Helseti so let me just 
get her out of there. This is a confirmed female. Yeah, she's going to be really hard to see. <laughs> but there she is. She's got a fat butt. She's not full grown. She's a little less than half, uh, a little less than one inch. And she's probably going to get a, an inch and a half. Uh, she's going to be a brown widow and you'll be able to see once it grows the hourglass and this one has a bright orange so cool Lactrodectus uh, Geometricus sweet a very hot species but very cool at the same time so just want to share with you the new additions also will be included in the feeding video very shortly got this one these were purchased with the trade as well, the Salino Brachys of Filipinas, the S. Hoffmani, B. Verdesi, confirmed female and suspect female, P. Aratus. Alright everyone, thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoy it.